Hey guys, today's vlog it will be baby girl, Kiki, and Cassie. Yes. yes. I'm home babysitting today, you guys. So I hope you enjoy today's vlog. Yep, so girls are watching some movies right now. Baby girl just drank about five ounces of tea. We still do the mixture of breast and bottle. Yeah. Um, she drinks roughly five, six ounces most times and every roughly every four hours. She is on lactogen right now. She, all uh, baby girl, in the past two weeks, she has changed, she has developed more. We gave her the gripe water to help with the fussiness and it actually helps. Um, the lactogen milk as well, that is good for colic. So if you know your baby having issues and those type of things, it's agreeing with her. This is actually her second, no, her fourth week with it because the first thing we use was basically at the five weeks mark and that actually finished last week. And last week we opened a second tin of lactogen. So she is using the lactogen. It's agreeing with her. I also have to make a, a video on how much milk and pampers babies use in the second month. Um, basically, next week, Monday, baby girl, well, next week, Tuesday, baby girl will actually turn two months officially, even though it's eight weeks. She was born on the 22nd of the month, so next week, Tuesday, no, actually next week, Monday will actually be the 22nd of the month, yes. So, that's when it will be official. So, you all can look forward to a video on how much milk and pampers babies use in the second month. I actually did a video on how much milk, pampers and wipes they do in the first month. So, you all can check out that video as well. So, mommy's actually out today. She has to go to NIS office and to her job because they made some error in her paperwork. So, she needs to sort out that. So, that's why daddy's home today with baby girl. And I, I couldn't wait, you guys. I went to work this week, Monday to Wednesday, and all I could have thought about is I can't wait to stay with baby girl Thursday and Friday. And it's Thursday. I'm home with her today. I'm really and truly enjoying it, you guys. Mommy getting her break to get her things done. Grandma is in at home as well because you guys, next week, see next week episode, or they will enjoy next week episode. Hint, hint, hint. Grandma is out shopping for paint. So we actually have to paint the house inside and outside next week is that big thing so y'all will enjoy next week vlog so mommy when mommy gets through with straightening out her paperwork making the correction actually it's the work has to do the correction and then she has to take it back to NIS office for y'all in Trinidad and Tobago it doesn't matter so you guys in Trinidad and Tobago it doesn't matter whether you're working or not. The NIS grant is for all mothers in Trinidad and Tobago. You'll have access to the grant. So you don't have to be working, you have to be contributing. The grant is for all mothers. They get roughly $3,800 TT for each child they make. That 3800 could go a long way, you guys. That could go towards buying baby clothes buying pampers, buying milk as well because we actually spent roughly $10,000 to purchase everything we needed for baby girl and some like for example episode 8 we took you all not episode 8 sorry I'm the Cassie stroller shopping video we actually in season 1 because there's a playlist you guys baby on board go to the playlist on my youtube channel and you'll get all the videos for season 1 and season 2 you will actually get to see in that vlog that we went shops of Arima Kids Paradise and there they had things like 
car seat, stroller, playpen, and mattress combo for two thousand dollars. So you guys could have gotten that whole combo for two thousand, and the next eighteen hundred dollars you could have bought baby clothes with that. Baby vest and thing is like ten dollars, twelve dollars, TT, you guys. So that thirty eight hundred is a big help in Trinidad and Tobago. Hello, 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 hello. See how she all of that smile does make my day. Baby girl, smile does just make my day. So how has she developed in this first two months? Good, real good. She real big now. She's about what? Um, she's about eleven pounds. Going on twelve. I actually have her in stage two. She started on the stage two pampers last week. Yeah, last week Friday. No, last week Friday. Yeah, because last week Thursday would have been the episode which you saw with us going for the first checkup and those type of things so that would have been last week Thursday we took her to the health center for her shots and then the Friday the pampers run out the Friday afternoon or early Saturday morning and I think you have to take off the sink of bike take off what? no leave that alone uncle here crazy and it needs to stay in a woogie <laughs> So yeah, the pampers actually run out, finish completely, and I was like, we were in the health center. She was roughly 11, 10 and a half, 11 pounds, and I was like, it don't make no sense for us to go and buy a whole box at stage one again, because that was actually her second box of stage one pampers. So I actually didn't want her to buy a third box of stage one so i had the box of stage two rest down at home and we started her in the stage two and the stage two actually fits pretty good it actually fits pretty good and yeah the milk now we are using lactogent as i mentioned before so this is lactogen from Nestle in Trinidad and Tobago. It's roughly $110 a tin. So at the time I'm recording this video, it's actually a little bit hard to find this milk. I currently get it easily at Pennywise. So Pennywise always have it. I read my location to Napuna when I visit. But in regular pharmacies at times, I actually only purchase one tin. In the pharmacy, that would have been the first thing I bought, and I have about this is the second thing she's on this week because the first thing actually lasted about two and a half weeks, and we started the first thing last week. So the milk is going good at last. That's how we are doing both breast and formula. The thing is lasting about two and a half to three weeks. Yeah, dada, 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 dada. Yes, well, she does actually smile when I'm saying dada and grandma. She does smile and laugh, and when she sees she mother, she has been like, hey. And she actually keeps her eyes on her mom. So if her mom is to walk in the room, she will watch initially all over, all over. She doesn't give her mommy a break at all. So in next week's video, don't worry guys, next week, big surprise. The whole family will be together next week, please God. As I mentioned before you guys, these videos, we don't post the videos one time we actually record have to edit and if i had to edit and post same week you guys it's actually going to be very hard because i have weeks we don't get enough rest so yeah so when you all see next week episode you all realize what i'm talking about it's going to be a big day and documenting this whole series for y'all you okay, baby? Okay. 
document in this series series for y'all this is actually our youtube series our family life showing you what it's like to have a baby in Trinidad and Tobago and actually welcoming you into our life it's very hard there is its challenges and there are things that we miss and don't get on TV well YouTube <laughs> and I will not say to you all that anything or anyone is pitch perfect we all have our challenges our flaws but we have to make the best of it and work together because this beautiful cute little baby does have us up at times and when it was earlier this week she refused to sleep you guys she went and sleep half past 12 and she didn't wake up until after 8 in the morning so she kept us up we couldn't have put her down and i was like yes yeah, i go in and rock you and when she dropped asleep i rest in the playpen and she slept in the playpen up until 8 o'clock in the morning and i said this i go in and wake up and feed her now and then she was like no let she sleep I was like, no baby, she last fed after 11, so she need to get up and get a bottle because it's not good to let them go long without feeding. So I made a 6 ounce bottle that morning for her. And when she wake up, she drink all the tea and she went back and sleep. She went back and sleep. So, yeah, we, we do have our challenges at times. And baby girl does give us special type of trouble. A special type of trouble because she adorable she have this thing y'all normally you know you just give the baby half the milk to drink and then you stop your burp them and then give them the next half she you hear she say yeah she doesn't allow us to do that at all anytime we take that bottle out of her mouth she cries and when she's crying like that we do not get to burp her at all so that is one of the challenges we have with baby girl and my favorite thing about her <laughs> as i mentioned in the last video is that she only like to poop and clean pampers <laughs> so she will wait for us to change her pampers to go off in a clean pampers me one of my biggest issues is coming home from work and being exhausted sometimes i knock out so strong that initially just try to wake me up and she does just give up i just tell her baby wake me up no matter what it takes wake me up because i want you to know that i am here and i'm here to help so it have nights where i'm out cold i'm really exhausted and i know mommy had a hard day with baby girl because one of the things she also does as well is she used the tatats as a comfort so yes she will just be on mommy tatats for comfort and anytime that she takes it out of her mouth she will get up and start to fret oh she doesn't look so cute when she fretting and she crying she don't know that at all. You. hello hello no 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 dada 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 say mama 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 where's mommy mommy i'm missing you you leave me home with daddy mama mama come back for me come back for me mama mama come back for me come back home for me mommy mommy why you leave my daddy and you hey mommy why you leave me my daddy and my cousins come back for me So, you guys, week number eight actually full with joy. It's actually good. Next week, please God, I will try to do more recording because I'm home next week, Tuesday, half day. So I'll be home by 12. I'm home the Wednesday, the Thursday, the Friday, and the Saturday. So I should get plenty recorded next week for you guys. And I have some bonus clip to insert with mommy and those type of things. Nephik is going to be a big surprise. I hope you all enjoy it and at the same time I'm hope you all are not vexed with me as well. Because as I said to you all, 
it's really a journey it's really a challenge and this is why we documented it and edited the episodes and things so we can have the videos constantly for you so i don't want it to be that i post a video this week and then you don't get the third episode until two weeks and those type of things so this is one of the reasons we had to take time edit the videos make sure everything goes good before we release the video so yes this is me admitting that the Uncle, episodes are pre-recorded. Yes, Cas Cas. You can't lift up the baby. You have to wait till she get bigger. Well, like Cassie is very helpful, though. She's very helpful. I remember last week I was saying Cassie, or they'll get trouble together, and or they get bigger, and she's like, yeah. <laughs> so. Thank you for checking out this vlog and with reference to the first season in the first season we actually showed everything everything when it comes to preparing to have a baby in Trinidad and Tobago um, what am I up to these days well this month let me give you earlier a hint when next week video going to be this month my favorite Trinidad youtubers all of them who I watch are posting daily videos because it's actually vlogmas. I'd like to say thank you for joining me today you guys and um, I kind of reveal what next week episode is going to be about. Next week is actually going to be Christmas so I hope you enjoy next week's vlog. See y'all later. Say bye.